So this is a quick humility video, yeah? I know I like to talk about I got this and I got that, but man, I ain't driving around in no Bentley or nothing like that. So I'm going to show you all the defects and that with my car. Um, and I refuse, at the same time, I refuse to get a car on finance. I refuse to get a new car, basically. And I don't even want to spend five grand on a new car because that's five grand less I got to put down as a deposit for a next property in here so let's start off with the handbrake in here so first of all the handbrake is nuts i've had to use blue electrical tape to connect two pieces together so basically if i was to cut off this electrical tape this would fall out now imagine right now yeah the handbrake is engaged yeah if i was to remove this piece here that's slightly moving you see that that's slightly moving there if i was to remove that the handbrake would always be engaged I need this piece here to push down. So now the handbrake's disengaged, isn't it? What else is wrong with this car? So the steering wheel, the levers all torn up and that. Since I'm down here at a low angle, man's got a fucking, a fake. It's not, you know, like you just get some any old car mat and that. Man's got some any old car mat for this Honda Civic and that. What else is mad with the car? There's so much things wrong with this car. Um, the air, the aircon's never worked. I had the aircon fixed one time. It lasted a week and it stopped working. The window, let me turn on the engine. The window, yeah. Turn this down. The window, it goes down, yeah. Let's see if it will do it this time. So it goes all the way down. You see that? You see that? Do you see that blood? It's fucked. So right now, yeah, man, no, he, <laughs> I can't believe man showing this, you know. But you know what, yeah, man's a modest man, you know. I know man talk this and talk that, but I don't even bring this window down. It's permanently up. So that's going to take me a little while. I'm going to have to pause the video to literally get this window back up because it takes a long time to put the window back up. I can't just... Oh, oh my God, I actually got lucky. You see that? I tried to pull the window up and it's gone back down automatically because there's something wrong with it. So that's just one of the many few things that's fucked with the car. I have to do it in small, slow increments. Okay, it, it worked. Uh, let me show you around the, the outside of the car. Obviously, right now, outside Chicken Express on Tintern Road, Wood Green. The best fucking chicken and chip shop in the world, bro. So the wheel arch is kind of fucked still. This one here even got no wheel arch, you know. Completely gone, missing. Uh, what else is wrong with the car? I ain't washed it. I swear to God, yeah. Maybe I haven't washed it since the beginning of lockdown. So basically, since the first lockdown, I don't think I've washed this car, you know. There's a few other things wrong with this car. I just can't remember. Ah. So. Let me show you. See that symbol there, yeah? So basically it's like the inflation, I don't know, something to do with like, you know like the tire inflation sensors and that. That's been fucked from day one. From when I've had the car, it's been fucked. 22 miles left, get me, times are hard right now. You get me? Um, I'm sure the clutch, there's something wrong with the clutch as well, hold on. Let me keep the, let me, let me move the car one sec. Ah, oh, the clutch usually squeaks and that's not doing it now, and it's so slow, isn't it? Yeah, the clutch usually squeaks and that. This car is fucked, man. But literally, it gets me from A to B. And with the sort of work I do, so I use my car for, um, I use my car for work. So obviously I don't wanna, and I'm not a white van type of man. I'm not ever buying no van. Not for a very long time anyway. I don't think I ever will, yeah. But um I use my car for work, yeah. Turn off the engine. I use my car for work, so I'll be taking ladders and dashing ladders in the back of my car and uh, I don't wanna be doing that in a imagine a new Mercedes and that. Let me spin the camera one sec. So yeah, my man's looking rough today, you get me, but I don't wanna be buying no new car because obviously I have to use my car for Working that I'm not going to be buying no new car or driving no new car 
and worried about it getting scratched up and that. Cause I'm all driving on these mad estates around in Northampton and that. Get me, you can't even leave a fucking cheeseburger on your seat. Man, we'll try brock into your car and that. So, but I refuse, I refuse to finance a car. Me and my girl was even looking at it one time. We was on one website called Contract Cars. And the contracts and that are usually like 36 months rental. So you're leasing a car, you're renting a car, innit? 36 months rental. Uh, 36 months or 48 months rental. There's some people right now, maybe some people watching this right now, and if they're not watching it, you know someone as the viewer that's that's doing this right now. I don't know how these people sleep at night, you know. There's certain people right now paying £500 a month and they're on a 48-month contract. Blood. 48 months is four years. Over a four-year period of time, you spent £24,000 on leasing a car. How mad is that? Like, blood, you could... You could use that 24 grand, 25 grand, put down on a property in Northampton. Maybe you need a little bit more in it, yeah, because the flats and that are like 110. So you need a tiny little, tiny little bit more in it, yeah, maybe like 26 grand or something, innit, yeah. 26 grand, that's a deposit for a property that could bring you an income of 1,200. Literally, my property, so obviously I've got my yard and then I've got a flat around the corner and then I've got a flat around the corner from the flat around the corner. But... The flat around the corner from my yard, I had to put down 26500 as a deposit. And that brings me, yeah, one of them's paying 750 and the other person's paying 450 So yeah, 1200 Both Both my properties are bringing me 1200 So imagine, yeah, you spent over four years, 24, 25, call it 25 grand um, on a car that don't bring you back no return. As opposed to you could have spent that 25 grand on a deposit for a property that will bring you back a return of, well, it will turn over. Your revenue would be 1,200. Obviously, overheads, council, tax, bills and that. Because when I charge the tenants and that, I just say, obviously, bills included, you just pay for the room. I cover all bills and that. So if a man whack up that gas full blast and that, gas bill is going to be nuts. My gas bill was nuts. Over the last three months, the gas bill was 480. So that's about, what, 160 per month over a three month period of time, isn't it? But still, you put down 25 bags on a property, that property will turn over 1,200. It's just down to you to manage the overheads and that. You could at least be profiting about five bills. Whereas opposed to if you're paying 500 pound a month on a car, there's no profit, it's just an expense. One of the maddest things as well, people will take out loans. So you've taken out a loan, which is a liability, to fund a depreciating, I was going to say asset, it's actually a liability. So you've taken out a liability to fund something that is also a liability. It don't make no sense. That is a double negative, blood. How are these people sleep at night? Well, I know most of them ain't sleeping at night. There's people out here, they're spending £600 a month on their car finance or car lease, and they're only on a measly two and a half, three grand a month. Nuts. And then the dumbest people out, all of them as well. So them people there will be paying rent as well. The dumb people are the people that live at home as well. Yeah, I've met you. So like, I remember I was at one tenant's yard one time and I could hear the son pull up in his car from the back. He must park his car around the back where, um, where the back garden is. Heard a car revving up engine, you know, and them loud exhaust pipes. Probably one of them car nerd people, innit? you know, like, uh, we're putting this exhaust and all that shit in it. So, um... Yeah, he's pulled up in his car now. I didn't see the car because he's pulled up at the back. And I can't remember, I just overheard the conversation between the son and the mum. And the son was like, yeah, well, this is the benefit of being able to live at home for free. You get to drive a car like that. Now, I don't know what car it was or whatever, anyway. It's probably a really expensive car. In it. Or a car, that's easy. he wouldn't be driving if he had rent to pay or mortgage to pay and that. Then people there that live at home with their parents... They're so dumb, blood. You should use, seize that opportunity to save your Ross Clark money. How are you driving a fucking Mercedes 300, C300, C2? I don't care what Mercedes it is. You should not be driving no Mercedes. You're living in a box room upstairs. Literally, there's people right, right now. Might not be you, but it's people them that you know, probably. They're living in a box room right now. But yet still, they got a Mercedes outside. But they're peeking through their blinds. At 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning, on a Saturday or Monday or whatever, innit? Yeah, making sure that that rubbish truck don't scratch up their car and that. Like, it's dumb. 
It's dumb. I'm so glad I never got wrapped up and roped up in this nonsense. And the thing is, the man am I leasing all these cars, getting into debt for gyal. And then these are the same girls that are just going to curve you anyway. You should be making money. So, for example, the way you should be buying, the way you should, what you should use to, to finance a liability is you have a property that makes you 1200 for the month. Let's say after all overheads are paid for, you've got £600 profit. You take £300 out of that £600 and then you go and finance or lease the car. Not you're working hard and then that car outside is a burden to you. That's why I can't even do it. Me, I've got two properties. One's generating me 1200 and the other one's also generating me 1200 a month. Even me, and I, and I still earn like five grand a month um, from being an electrician. Even me. I use this car and I would forever use this car as well to go and do my jobs and that. But I could not sit outside and sit in my kitchen or stand in my kitchen and see a Mercedes outside knowing that, okay, this car's cost me £500 it's just sitting there doing nothing, gathering dust. I can't go nowhere. You think I'm going to drive around fucking broke Northampton in a Mercedes and that? Ain't nowhere to go. You think I'm going to put myself in some mad debt, paying off some, peeling off some mad money every month just so I can pull up at the lights and look at a next man and, you get me, give him that nod or, you get me, want him to rate man and that. Dumb. Dumb, man. Dumb. And then people wonder why they can't afford to get on a property ladder and that. There's people right now, they sit and they think to themselves, you know, I can't even afford to buy this yard and that. But blood, you have not helped yourself because some people, like, let's say they live in London and that. I'm in Wood Green right now, isn't it? If you live in Wood Green... You live in a three bed house, that house there is probably worth like four or five hundred grand easily. Easily. We're talking about five five hundred grand upwards easily. And it could be a shit yard as well. Some people will be paying rent to the council and that and thinking so well. I will even be able to afford to buy this house even in ten years when I get a discount from the council because I'm not earning enough and the house is too expensive, isn't it? But blood, you're not helping yourself, you know, by having that extra five hundred pounds. Call it six, because remember, insurance is going to be a hundred as well. 500 pounds, 600 pounds a month on your car. So they put themselves in a position where it's like, they can't even foresee, they can't even forecast themselves buying a property and that it's so far, it just seems so far away. Forget, what's the point? That's like trying to save up to buy a million pound house and you're only on 10 grand a month. You're going to fit yourself, what's the fucking point, blood? So hey, 10 grand a year. You've got a million pound house. That you want to buy, you're only on 10 grand a year. You're going to think to yourself, what's the point of saving up to buy a fucking million pound house? I'm only on 10 grand a year. It's going to take you two lifetimes to afford to buy that property. So you're not even going to bother try. And anyway, I've got like 20 seconds left of the video. Stay where it's done now. You're listening. One thing I wanted to add as well, and it happens now and then. Anyone who's a YouTube content creator will know what I'm talking about. Isn't it? Yeah, the video finishes like, fuck, I forgot to add this key point. See how I showed you all the defects on my car. The car's looking fucked. The car's looking nuts, blood. There's certain man, they would never do that, you know. There's certain man probably watches like, oh my God, I can't believe he's showing us how fucked up his car is, blood. Do you know why I don't care, fam? You see the man them that would never do that, who drive a fucked up car, they would never show the world that they drive a fucked up car because they know they can't do nothing about their situation. Me, I snap my rascal up fingers and I can have a new car there. I'm not going to say I can buy a car outright right now. I ain't got enough money for that. But I can at least lease or finance a brand new car. Or even just pull out five, six, ten grand and buy a decent car. I just see an Audi drive past. I could afford one of them. Certain man would never do that. One other thing I forgot to show you as well. You see this? This is the trim for the window. Yeah, or the, the door, isn't it? Yeah? That's, that's hanging down. That's fucked as well. Certain man, they would never show their car looking fucked. And I don't business, blood. Because I know this is not my final destination. I know I can improve my situation just by snapping my fingers, literally. So I'm not worried, but I'm not worried about my, my appearance. I don't care. No one can chat to me, blood. Is that my words? Uh, blood. What colours what color are the walls in your yard, fam? Yeah, how many properties you got, fam? How many tenants you got, fam? Mm, business, blood. I don't care. Some people, they're embarrassed about their job, like, someone, I had a girl tell me before, oh, you're just an electrician and that. I don't give a fuck, blood. See, certain man will take offense to that. Oh, I'm just an electrician, because it's the same thing, the same scenario with having this shit car. They're not going to do nothing about it. A certain man, if a girl tells them, oh, you're just an electrician, they'll be embarrassed, or they won't like a girl saying that, they'll take offense to it. Do you know why? Because they know they will always only be an electrician. 
I'm not always gonna only be an electrician, blood. This is just a stepping stone, fam. Furthermore, in about 10 years, I'll be able to retire. I'll have enough income from my properties. I won't even need to be, I won't need to go to work. But obviously, at heart, man will always be an electrician. Yeah? You can't get me, you can't, you can't forget um, being, um, how to be an electrician and that. But this is not my final destination. You get it? Like, I'm going, I'm going to be moving on to bigger things. What I want to do is, well, I want to start building properties and that. I even met a man on a job the other day. And um, he said to basically build a four bed house, depends on the spec, but if we're going like basic spec, four bed house, it will cost about 70 grand to build that house. And some people will watch this and think there's no way it will cost 70,000 pounds to build a brand new house. All right, the land might cost 50 or whatever in it, yeah? But forget about the land and that because it just depends on where the property is. So a property in Enfield is gonna, the land in Enfield is gonna cost different to the land in Chelsea, yeah? The land in Hackney is gonna cost different to the land in Milton Keynes, innit? But forget about the, hand, the land. Just building the property, the bricks, the mortar, the labor, the materials and that, it'll cost you about 70 grand. Motherfuckers will tell you, you will hear people talk about it on the internet, builders will tell you, oh, it's gonna cost 250 grand to build the house. No, it fucking don't. That's how much they charge. Be careful with them builder man there. Them man there will tell you, oh, like even a plumber, the plumbers and that, P the people that make, create, um, build bathrooms and that. I've been in screw fix and they're talking about, it's, it costs five grand to, to do a bathroom and that. No, it don't. It didn't cost me five grand, it cost me about 500 pounds to do up my bathroom at my flat. Um, the one that's around the corner from my yard. Not the one around the corner from the one around the corner. The one around the corner from my yard, innit? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't care. A girl could tell me, "Oh, you're just gonna, you're just an electrician and that." I had a girl say that to me. It don't matter because I know one day I'm not just gonna be an electrician. I'm constantly trying to improve my situation, blood. Whereas man that know they're not doing nothing or they can't do nothing for whatever reason it's in their head, they're gonna take offense to that because they know they're just gonna be an electrician and they're gonna retire as an electrician. They're gone dead. Not me, fam. Not me in it, but yeah, just for let me just add this little piece in and that. The certain man, they would never show people th this side of their life, like, oh, they're driving a shit car. Now. I don't give a shit. I don't care, fam. Man, can I laugh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you laugh from within your mum's yard, yeah. You laugh uh, on a sofa and that, yeah. Man, can I laugh. Or man, certain man think that they're living good, like, yeah, you get me, you're living good, free bed yard and that, but blood, you're at your girl's yard, fam. You're one argument away from being homeless, the blood clot. Yeah? Man have to behave themselves. Men, when you when you become a man of substance and that, bruv, you don't need to behave yourself. You do what the fuck you want, fam. Your woman submit to you or she can keep it moving, blood. So, yeah, that's my ethos, innit? Stay where I don't know. I'm out this time, innit? Yeah, stay where I don't know.